Tom, you give up 38 in the second and then 29 in the whole second half. Just what did you see change so dramatically defensively in that second half? Yeah, you know, and the one thing about, you know, the Rockets have been playing great. They're, you know, they, their past two games, they, they're playing, they're, they're getting people back. So we know that they would put a lot of pressure on us, and they did. And then you just have to keep going, you know, and against a team like that, you can't relax, you can't let your guard down, you have to fly around, you have to do more than one thing. And I thought in the second uh, half, our effort was a lot greater. And so we, we had everyone doing more than one thing and, uh, you know, a, a lot of guys stepped up and played well. I thought the rebounding was huge for us. And then I thought the ball pressure was really good. So. Uh, creating some turnovers was was a big factor as well. Coach, uh, the conventional wisdom is that defense fuels the offense, but it almost appeared like tonight, like like your guys saw a few threes go through the hoop, and that's what kicked their energy up. Would you agree? Well, I you know I thought the defense is what got us going, and it got us into the open floor. And Jeff, like the third quarter in particular, when Jeff hit those threes, it was basically off of our defense, and guys were making plays. It, it, we were you know sharing the ball better. And then uh, I thought Carl played a terrific game, and so, um, you know, that, and he gets a lot of attention from them. But I thought he was making the right play all night. That's the best Andrews played in a couple of weeks. It yeah, seems. yeah. The, the past couple of games, I think he's picked it up, and I think he's 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 finding his rhythm again. Uh, but I, but I agree. I thought he had. Um, he's driving the ball a lot more aggressively, which I think is very important. He's, he's such a gifted scorer, and we want him to use all of his abilities. You know, and obviously he's shooting the three better, but when he puts it on the floor and he attacks the basket, his athleticism is special. And when he does that, there's going to be and ones and easy buckets for him. And when he, it just makes us a different team. So we, we got to keep him aggressive. We got to get him going. And Tommy had three blocks as well. I mean, just defensively, did you? See, I mean, he seemed pretty engaged the whole yeah, night. Yeah, and he did a lot, a lot of things because you know they put a lot of pressure on you. Capella's great rolling to the basket. The two guards are, you know, uh, you know, everyone knows how good they are. Uh, so you, you know, you have to contain the ball as best you can, and then you got to protect the basket, and then you got to get out. And I thought Wig had a lot of plays in which he was at the rim. Uh, protecting and then firing out and flying around and covering the line and I think you know when he has that type of energy it just carries over he just keeps moving and so um, you know that's that's the way we need him to play I know we've talked about Cove a lot and what he brings but some of those plays that he was making I mean with Capello ripping the ball away and stuff I mean yeah. what kind of instincts are you just seeing from him to be able to do that without well, falling yeah it, you know like the the one thing is when you look at that game and you dig into it uh, I think you know obviously what what Robert brings is is a lot to our team but I thought Dario and Taj really like those three guys brought so much toughness to the game and that that makes and then Jeff did a great job and then our bench to start the fourth did a great job I thought Tice gave us good minutes G gave us good minutes uh, and you need everyone and you know they were real aggressive with Derek tonight and that's what I love about Derek it, you know they were trapping him and get trying to get the ball out of his hands and then also uh, denying him the ball and he, he doesn't you know he plays to win and then he just started dropping it into to cat and we you know we played off of it we played off of the trap and i thought that got us going also touched on how well the bench played i think houston didn't score for the first five plus minutes of that fourth quarter i mean just when when they can kind of bring that intensity and and always kind of keep the score level at worst what does that do for your team yeah it was it was a lot you know and we had to withstand the the you know the foul trouble of cat in the first half and uh you know, we, we, I thought we had a tough whistle, but we played through that. But the start of the fourth quarter, you know, it, it allowed us to get some guys some rest. And But they played great, and, they're, and they have been playing great, too. And that's a big plus for us. The, when the bench plays like that, it gives you a big boost. You talk about how when somebody gets double teamed, it should be easy offense for everyone else. When Derek kind of treats it like that, making the quick pass, I mean, does that just kind of set a good example for others? Yeah, and that's like, it, to me, it's ideal when you get two on the ball. And that, that's where I thought Carl made a lot of good plays. And he didn't necessarily get the assist from the plays. But when they were coming to double and he got to the middle of the floor, he did a lot, made a lot of great plays. But Derek didn't force anything. 
you know, he wasn't holding on to it and trying to split the trap or, you know, trying to score through the trap. He just moved it and made a simple play. And when you do that, the, the game is easy. And anytime there's two on the ball, you know, everyone should be excited about it. Nice to see Dario knock down a few threes. I mean, he's a good shooter, but just had been in a little bit of a slump he, for you. He's just a good player. You know, and, and John, to answer your question, you know, like, in, you know, he shot 38 last year. I, at the end, like, I know it, it'll be a good percentage, and he takes the right ones. He, he, he knows when to shoot. He knows when to pass. But I, I liked what his toughness. You know, it's, it's like he, he's, he's physical without fouling. He gets to loose balls. Uh, he, he brings a lot to our defense. And so he and Taj are sort of the unsung heroes. You know, and you can throw G in there as well. But when those guys contribute in that way, it makes the team special. With uh, Andrew, you mentioned how you want him going to the basket, you know, using his athleticism in that way. Are, are you trying to maybe tell him to do that over maybe settling for those mid-range shots that he has taken throughout his career or kind of where do you strike that balance? Yeah, and, and I think zone? he's getting it. I think he's got great athleticism. He's always been gifted in, in transition. He's been a great finisher. Uh, and then the mid-range has been his strength, but I also think he's stretched it out now. I think he's got a lot of confidence in his three, and obviously getting to the free throw line is, is a big thing, too. And I saw it with Derek. Derek was a mid-range shooter. Derek's become a terrific three-point shooter, and I think we're going to see that with Andrew and Andrew's athleticism and driving the ball to the rim. And, and the, the thing is, is when we're doing that, getting to the bonus early in each quarter it, it, we know the value of, of free throws you know when you, when you look at you know everyone talks about the corner three and what that's worth and we know what the dunk is worth but we also know how important the free throw is worth so when you have his type of athleticism we want to take advantage of that is there a more versatility or toughness now since the trade i mean there yeah there well i think what the what the trade did was added depth to our team and uh, there's toughness, there's a little bit of shooting, there's, uh, it just, it, and it fits well. And, and like I said, and we still, we have some other guys that haven't had a chance yet that I, I know when they do get their chance, they're going to do well, you know. And, and so that's, that's the value of having a bench.